Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah that was yeah, another one good. I really liked by playing. Especially when the dragon transferred Kobayashi and trying to get friendly with him. And then all of them trying to marry her, marry her at the end. So, yeah, you really, I watched the way, I didn't get to, I didn't, I kind of, um, I don't know what it was about it. Nothing. No, I don't think there was anything negative about it. I don't think I had any sort of, like, I was like, oh, dragon tail suit. something. I don't. Like, like the idea of Dragon no, Tail suit. I just don't think I got really hooked me. I think it was like there was nothing offensive about it. Or yeah, it, was, it just wasn't didn't have that special. Didn't something whatever grabbing whatever, grabbing like quality as, yeah, to me. You know, there's a, a heaps of other things grabbing, but and, and that nearly did. So I mean, it might have just priorities. been a distraction. But sometimes like things like with that happen. Like Darling and um, Franks is a yeah. classic example. I watched yep, yep. the first two episodes of that, and I was just like, oh, I forgot about it. And then like four years later, whatever, I'm like, how the fuck did I miss this amazing masterpiece? Mm. Mm. But some of them are like that. Like you you browse the first couple, and because it didn't lock you. Um, you go, oh, you lose interest, but then you'll rewatch it later on, and then you go, oh my goodness, it's like amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just giving it that extra time, just to you know let the characters develop, which is normally the most boring bit of the start to me. Mm-hmm. If they don't develop the characters quickly and get on with the business, and you introduce new characters going along, but yeah, get the story moving. 